Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been so long since we've actually filmed a video. Life has been interesting the last couple of years. So anyway, we have a new video for you guys today. We decided we're gonna go camping at the end of July and we wanted to buy a new tent. And when trying to resource reviews on this tent, I wasn't able to find any. So, well, except for, you know, partial hey this is the tent we bought it's kind of cool or something similar to the one we bought but not the actual tent we bought more than just a hey look at our cool tent without any reviews or anything like that so or stats so what we're going to do today after the intro we're going to come back we're going to go to a super fast showing of us setting up our brand new tent let me show you this new tent this is a timber ridge six person as they call it glamping tent uh. That's kind of what it's going to look like, yeah. It got a kind of a small hole in it while it was being shipped to us, but I'm pretty sure it'll be okay, and if not, we'll return it! But, uh, yeah, so we are out here at one of our local elementary schools, which has this really big, empty field that we can go ahead and uh, set it up at, so we actually can fully set it up, no issues, nothing in the way, no trees, no benches, no houses, no flower beds, nothing like that. And we will go ahead, set it up and go from there. So uh, cue the intro, we'll be back in a second.
All right, guys, that was a fun little montage. So this thing is a lot bigger than I expected. So we're gonna do a walk around first. And then once we get done with the walk around, we will go inside and check out the inside. So let's go. There's the door. There we go. You got one bottom window, half circle. Second bottom window, half circle. Two big outside windows. Third bottom window. Third outside top window. Fourth bottom window. Now the four bottom windows, they unzip from the inside. The outside windows, these are pretty cool. When I saw these, I was actually pretty amazed with them. So number one, they have a double zipper. So you can zip them up from the inside of the tent or the, stop, can move please. You can zip them up from the inside of the tent or the outside of the tent with that zipper right there. And this zipper that my daughters decided to open up first is so if it's raining outside, you can actually open the window up. Move, please. I'm having this one. You can open the window up right here, then put these down, zip them shut, and then zip the window shut from the inside so the windows do not get any rain in them, which is a pretty cool feature. My gosh. Lots of Velcro. Oh, right here, nice big Velcro thing there. And of course, you got the bottom windows. Let's not put our face against the window, please. Okay, so this pe this tent only has two metal rods, two. Both of them have a wire inside so you can string them up instantly. You never lose them, you never confuse them. One is the A-frame rod, which is used for the tent itself. Let me get this unzipped. <laughs> Remember, you didn't want to get stung by a wasp. Oh, the wasp was going to go away on its own. Okay, so first we'll go inside, guys. We have to take off our shoes, though. It's too far Yes, away. we want to keep this thing so nice. Well, it goes on any side. You can put it on any side. You just got to stretch it a little. It needs stretched a little. So here's one of the rods. This is this A-frame rod here. It goes down. There's a pocket on each side. It's like triple or quadruple enforced. And then this is the center rod. And this is the rod that holds the entire tent up. Everything else is basically structured on this tent with tension and seams. The seams are double seamed and double stitched. So you won't have to worry about anything going in. There's three ventilation flaps up top. Um, the ventilation flaps look like they're pretty, pretty simple. Um, I'll have to check it out. There's a cup at the top of the tent pole that's made of leather, pretty thick leather actually, to make sure this doesn't poke a hole through the tent. It does come with a hat hanger or post hanger, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Plus there are two uh, rings on each post. And then inside storage, it comes with one, two, three, four, three, four built-in pockets and then a fourth pocket, but that fourth pocket should go over there so it doesn't block a window. Don't you see? This is kind of very ugly already. Oh, I got it. So, yeah, there's four pockets already built into this tent. And then the other pocket, uh, you can put wherever you want. Um, it does have a screen door, like most tents. This screen door is actually pretty nice. Uh, when you set this tent up correctly, I'm going to show you a bottom view. So, my camera is about three and a half, four inches tall. The water barrier on this tent is taller than my camera all the way around. So if you take into effect, they call this a six person tent. Now, there are no standards when it comes to how many people can fit in a tent. So you kind of just got to figure out what you want and how you want to do it. So if we look at it like this, I am basically six feet tall from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. Well, right now I'm laying between the pole. Take my hat off because it's blocking the view. I'm laying about oh, five inches from the pole. And if I point my toes, I can touch the outside edge barely. So, whoa, I zoomed in, oops. So I can barely touch the, the edge of the tent. So that right there means that if each person 
shared their own little triangle that you stare at when you sleep at night, you could potentially fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could fit seven humans in here without blocking the doorway. And if you wanted to stick someone in front of the doorway, you have, could have an eighth. And that's if you do that. And you still got all the room in between you for storage, for your stuff, for your cooler. I mean, I'm going camping with me and six kids in a couple weeks. All four of my kids, Brianna, Ziva, my son, Jaden, and then my oldest daughter, Dawn, who's getting ready for a party right now, so she's not helping with the tent set up. And uh, we also have Ziva's friend, Toby, going with us and Brianna's friend, Jaden, going with us. So we're going to have six kids, one adult and a puppy dog. And if I can get the dog bed to come in here nicely and maybe get a couple blankets set down where he can walk in on the blankets, I might just have him sleep in the tent with us just so it's uh, better. He's more inside. He's a pretty much inside puppy dog and spends outside when he needs to or wants to. Another cool feature about this is number one, the tent post has a rubber grommet on the bottom and it's, you're talking thick rubber. This thing's at least a good quarter inch thick. And if you ever forget how to set this tent up, because I did not look at the instructions one bit except for one part where I had to figure out how the ropes worked and every bit of the instruction set up is in this really nice thick canvas bag right here's the instructions and it tells you how to do the ropes tells you how to set up stuff there's a rubber grommet right there for the top of the a-frame tent post so you it's a it's a water shield basically um, it comes with two extra um, tent posts uh, yeah I don't know what else I can say guys this tent is extremely easy to set up very versatile um, like I said I'm almost I'm five foot eleven technically and I can walk in and out of this tent without having to crouch unless I'm like wearing a big uh, hat that like sticks above my head or something so it's you should have no issues with this tent um, the only downside or downside I saw in this tent compared to what I thought I was getting when I got it. If you look at other glamping tents out there or tents they call glamping tents, they are made with a thicker material, kind of like what this cam this bag is made out of. It's a thick canvas type material and this tent is actually made of a thinner, uh, it seems to be single walled standard tent material. Wait. However, I will give them credit, all the seams are double stitched so they're rain, they should be waterproof or at least extremely water resistant um, and right now uh, this tent could you could have this tent work for you for uh, early spring late winter late fall I would call this a four season tent um, it does not have a place for a smokestack for a stove or a wood burning stove or anything like that but uh, you know, if you're handy enough with a sewing machine, you could probably put one in it. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. And they do have, I think they have ones where you can modify a tent with like a rubber sticky shield or something to put one in. So, definitely stuff you can do. Um, but yeah, the water shield on this tent, we're sitting in this and you could make a, a kitty swimming pool out of the bottom of this tent with how water tight this bottom seal is. Especially so. adding this square. Yeah, then I, I already showed him that, Ziva. Yeah. That's the square where you put the bottom of the tent post and it's rubber on it so it doesn't do anything but it also has, they melted a square around it to give it sturdiness so it wouldn't go bad and it probably has a double shield on the bottom just like in the corners where they stitched in the pockets for the A-frames. They also went around it with a heat gun as well to make sure that everything is stabilized and good to go. It would also be better if there were mm. cup holders. We don't need a couple others. We won't be drinking in the tent unless it's water. Um, also, there is an electrical cord outlet right there in the corner. Say, that is what? so you can pull an extension cord in and it won't affect your tent's ability to stay waterproof in case it rains. Here? Here. Which is kind of cool because the what? tent site we're camping at is actually going to have an electrical plug. So I'm going to bring. I'm going to be bringing an extension cord. So since we're I mean, we're already paying for the electricity. Might as well use it, right? So, we're going to have fun. So, anyway, uh, that's it, guys. Now we're going to 
uh, tear down the tent, which hopefully should be a lot quicker. Um, but we'll see. I gotta try and fold it and get it to fit back in this canvas bag. So that should be entertaining. But I think I've pretty much got to figure out how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do it. But I'll do the montage of us grabbing that up and packing it up and walking away. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, comment down below if you want. We greatly appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Later.